And hey everyone, it's Justin here. Welcome back to Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. So in the last episode, we ended up fighting Eldis, or whatever his name is, and we ended up beating him, and we got a new team member, which was my Shadow Salamence. So we are definitely going to be training that up and using it for the rest of the game. But unfortunately, we do not have time to do that in between facing the final boss. So I believe we are at the part I think we are. And so we just need to go up this elevator over here and we are ready to go. So definitely make sure your team is healed. Make sure you got enough items. And uh, yeah, I think we are ready to go. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited. Yep, this is it, guys. This is what I thought it was. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So you have come even this far. I had no idea that a mere child like you would pursue me this long. Professor Crane, Data Roms, and the Lair, you alone derailed every one of our well-laid plans. Well, perhaps not just you. The news broadcast by ONBS did not help Cypher's cause at all. However, my Shadow Pokemon plan isn't finished yet. The final act is about to unfold. Having come this far, I think you've earned the right to know what I have planned. Alright, let's see. Wait, what do you have planned? The creation of Shadow Pokemon that permanently resists purification, what, that was the first step. Next, I plan to create an army of Shadow Pokemon that work independently on my orders alone. When this second step is done, I will take over the world without having to rely on bothersome people. Uh, he's got a good point, like every person that he sent after me has failed. So, except Gorgon. Gorgon did defeat me once, so I gotta give credit where credit's due. And now... Oh, snap. Let me introduce you to my faithful servant, the one that shall become the central figure in my Shadow Pokemon army. Come forth, XD001. Oh, there it is, guys. Shadow Lugia. Get hyped. Oh. Codename XD001, now freed of all adjustments, I present to you Shadow Lugia. This Lugia is the first of the Shadow Pokemon that cannot be purified. Now let us celebrate the completion of my Shadow Pokemon plan in advance. Fall prey to Shadow Lugia. Oh, I love this. This is just the most awesome fight. It is so epic. It's just the climax of this entire game. This is the mascot of Pokemon XD, Gale Darkness. Yeah, hmm, I wonder. It looks kind of purple to me. I think it's a shadow Pokemon. So this is going to be the most epic of fights. This is going to be amazing. It's just going to be blowing your socks off. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, something you have never seen before. So let's watch this. Are we gonna catch it, guys? I, re I really hope we do. I really, really, really do. We gotta catch this thing. Hey, look at that! We caught it! <laughs> I'm just kidding with you guys. That, that was the most anticlimactic thing ever. <laughs> we defeated him! Yay! Lugia, no! Hey, we got money. Cool. Yep, so there it is. We defeated him. We got Shadow Lugia. How, how great is that? No, I'm just kidding. It's not that easy. How dare you, child? How dare you snag my Shadow Lugia, my one loyal subject? There's nothing left, but I will personally see to the total destruction of your Pokemon. Fall. Alright, so he's got actually got like a real team, and he looks scary. Oh my gosh. What is up with your eyes, dude? Need to calm down. Oh. Okay. I forgot what Pokemon he has. Yep, he has all three legendary birds. Because why not, right? And they're all shadow Pokemon, so you can catch every single one of his Pokemon. Isn't that great? It makes for a really hard battle, though, because these are all shadows. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, what do I do here? What, what can you do against an army of shadow Pokemon, especially ones like Moltres? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. We are gonna go for a flamethrower and then a brick break, I guess. We just, 
I don't know. We need to KO Pokemon. Because look what it has. Shadow Fire. What is this? And it's super effective, even though it's a fire type. Eh, doesn't make any sense, but that's just how this game rolls. It's, it's a shadow. It's a shadow move. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I thought that would be kind of effective. Apparently not. Let's see if we can get rid of something. I'm... I'm going to try to catch Pokemon. Oh, the King's Rock got. Okay, yes, good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna heal you up, and we're gonna try to catch that Pokemon over there. Let's see. Where's our healing items? We need healing items. So in case you didn't notice, I leveled up Ursaring, and I did that using the rare candies we got from a chest earlier, and I also had another rare candy from something else. So I used. I think I had four or five. Yeah. So I used those. And if you're wondering why exactly I have so many levels. Let's see. Let's use let's use a return on Moltres. How about that? Wait. Oh, I used I needed to throw a Pokeball. That's what I needed to do. And I am done. I that's that was the whole point of that, was to use a Pokeball. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, very good, very good. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch that Moltres, though, because it's going to have an extremely... It's going to have an extremely um, low catch rate. So that's going to be something we're going to have to try to do. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Um, let's see. Let's send out our tank. Yeah, I guess we can just start off with our tank. That's fine. I'm just going to try to catch Shadow Pokemon. Like, that's going to be kind of my goal. But we'll see if that ends up happening or not. If, if not, I'm just going to faint them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to prioritize winning the battle over catching them. So, sorry if I don't catch them. Let's try to go for Rhydon first. Just because I think he's going to be easier. Um, let's use Rest. How about that? We'll see if we can get a Rest off. I don't know if I will be able to. Come on, Rhydon. Don't, don't be difficult. Yes, okay, good. That's one down. The easier I can make this fight, the better. I would really love to catch Ultrace right now, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. I'll, I'll try. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so Shadowfire, are you going to get rid of Earth String? Is that what your plan is? Oh, no, you're going to use it on Snorlax. Okay. Just going to keep throwing Ultra Balls, see if we can catch this Moltres. Really hope we can at least catch one. I'm just gonna try to get rid of the executor. Come on, Moltres. Don't be a butt. Just go in the Pokeball. Yes! Yes! Okay, great. Great. I wasn't expecting to to catch it, honestly. I wasn't sure if it was gonna happen. But that's that's great. Really helps. Really, really helps. Okay, so now we got Tauros. Now, Tauros, I was expecting to use Ursaring. Ooh. Uh, that won't matter, actually. That really won't matter at all. So, I was expecting to use Ursaring, so we're gonna have to see if we can get Ursaring out. And ooh, that got him down to, uh, to a good number. He might faint Espeon right here. Oh, no. Okay, good. He's not gonna go after Espeon. That's great. Ooh, that just really helped, actually. Okay, so with Snorlax, I'm going to use an Ultra Ball. I think that'll be my strategy, and then I'm going to use a Psychic on Tauros and start getting him down, because Espeon should be able to do damage to Tauros, don't you guys think? I think a Psychic should do enough, but we'll see. Nice. Okay, great. I am having such good luck. Like, honestly, this is going a lot smoother than I thought it would. Now it looks like we got an Articuno to deal with. Um, let's see. I'm not really sure what my best strategy is for that. Okay, so Shadow Sky. Not really what I would like to see, but I'll have to deal with that. Okay, so Tauros, if you'll go in the Pokeball right now, that'd be great. And then I can get Articuno down enough to start getting Articuno. Poros. I, I might I might just faint you. 
I might just do that. Don't test me. I will. I will totally be okay with just feigning you instead of catching you because you're not. Okay, so Snorlax is starting to get down. Slowly but surely. I wish I could throw two Pokeballs in, in one turn. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well that happened. Not really what I intended at all. So it looks like we got Zapdos now. I can start getting Zapdos down, I guess. Zapdos might start targeting Espeon. I don't know why Articuno had this infatuation with Snorlax, but... Espeon's slowly being whittled down. So if Espeon gets hit, Espeon's gonna go down for sure. It's just gonna happen. So let's see. Just keep throwing Ultra Balls, I guess. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use a Psychic on Tauros. So if I don't catch it this turn, I'm just going to faint it. Because I need to prioritize other things. I don't want to drag this battle on for forever, you know? Okay, great. That's all I needed to do. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. That was easy. I just needed to say, oh yeah, I'm going to faint it if I don't catch it this turn. Ooh, so that actually did quite a bit to Snorlax. That's okay. Wait, am I already down? Is this the last Pokemon right here? Wait, what's going on? Where, Where's his other Pokemon? Does he not have more? Oh, I thought he had a full team of six. Apparently not. Okay, so it looks like I fainted one. Oh, it's because I've stolen four of them. And then I fainted one, and then there's this one. Okay. Okay, so really, honestly, I'm doing pretty darn good. So we'll go for a timer ball. Because why not? And then we'll use another psychic again. There's no power points left for this move. Great. That's totally what I wanted to hear. I guess Psybeam? Like, sure, why not? <laughs> That's not going to do a whole lot, but whatever. Let's just throw a timer ball. Let's see if we can get lucky. I don't know how many turns it takes for this to be super effective. I'm guessing it needs more time because that was pathetic. Yeah, you can just keep attacking Snorlax. You're like, you're going to get nowhere doing that too. It's great. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. I didn't think it would. Ooh. Ooh, paralyze. Yes. That's actually really nice. That is really nice. You need to stop this madness. At least attack Celio, so I feel like you're doing something. Thank you! I was wondering why in the world you would not attack my Celio. I was just like, it made sense, and you weren't doing it. Okay, so these are our final two Pokemon. It's not gonna faint them, so I'm not worried about it, but... This is our first time using Zelements, though. So that's great. Okay, so let's save. Let's just throw... I guess we'll just keep throwing these timer balls until we run out of those, too. I really want to use that. I'm just... Should I go for it? Okay, I'll, I'll give it a few more turns. I'll give it a few more turns. It's, I'm almost out of Pokeballs, so if I don't catch it in that time, then I'm just going to faint it. Because... I don't got time for this. I gotta catch it. There we go, right there. Zapdos is caught. Okay, so I'm so glad I didn't try to feign it. All right, so we defeated Master Grievel. Guys, we defeated the final boss of the game. And you look really creepy. We defeated the very creepy final boss. And we got a few new Shadow Pokemon, just, just a few, like five. We should have had six, but that's not how it went. So that's okay. How does it feel to be defeated by a 10 year old kid? I just want to ask that real quick. How? A mere child? A mere child crushed my cherished plan? Pretty much. Well, what? This can't be! It is, though. Grr, it's your fault. I won't forgive you. There is no forgiving you. I'm just trying to, like, save the world from Shadow Pokemon. Like, that's just kind of mean making them do your bidding. At least ask them nicely like I do my Pokemon. I just yell at them whenever they do something wrong. 
Grand Master, we're done here. We should blow up Citadark Isle with the child still on it. This is a children's game. What are you talking about? But if I did that, our Shadow Pokemon data and our subordinates would be lost as well. Grand Master, such things can be replaced. We must ensure our own survival. He's literally talking about blowing up the island with everybody on it. I've readied a helicopter for our escape. We've got to leave now. You're, you're right. Wait. Are you the voice of reason? Please wait. You're willing to sacrifice everyone so you can escape? You should be ashamed. Thank you. Ashamed? Clinging to foolish pride will guarantee Cypher's demise. Yeah, like... I don't know, like, you guys have so much pride, though. I think you should let it go. I don't think it's Eldis. I think it's Ardos that has the pride. Cypher must survive. That is our first duty. The Grandmaster feels the same way. Yeah, yes, for Cypher's sake, sacrifices must be endured. Yeah, but who's gonna want to work for you guys if you just blow up your island? What are you saying? The Shadow Pokemon Factory has been destroyed. XT-001 was defeated. Nothing remains of Cypher. Silence. Cypher will live forever. Yeah, no. If only this child hadn't. Grandmaster, please give the order to blow up Citadel Argyle. Yes, it can't be helped. Don't be grudge us, child. Stop. Let's put a stop to this, father. Don't call him father. Call him the Grandmaster. Ooh, these are his children? I actually didn't know that. Father, you've lost sight of what is important. You got carried away by this whole Grand Master nonsense. It isn't possible to take over the world by producing powerful Pokemon. Just think of this child. Yeah, you got defeated by one child. This child's pure heart won, won out over XD001. We were in the wrong. Silence, silence, silence! Why aren't you showing some spine? We've come so far! Cypher is finished, father. You should know that more than anyone. Oh. They're having like this really cool bonding moment, and meanwhile Ardos is just walking away smiling. I think he's gonna leave leave the dad. Now please stand up. This is how it should be. The laws of the land will render judgment on what we have done. Oh, everything I did. All of it was a mistake. Thanks to your courage, we were finally able to wake up from our nightmare. Thank you. You'll have nothing to fear from us ever. You should return home to your family. Let us meet again, too. The next time we battle, it won't be as mortal enemies. I will look forward to it. That was a really tender moment. It happened really quickly, but it was tender. Is this a cutscene? It is a cutscene. Yay for pre-rendered cutscenes. We saved the day. Look, the water's clear, the sun is shining. Everyone's happy and dancing on roofs. Not very safe, guys. Come on. That guy's like, is he high-fiving himself? Yeah, look, they're high-fiving themselves. Or they're working out. Either one. Look at these old people just clapping. They're just like dancing as they do it. It's great. Jovi, we're finally back to you. How unfortunate. Oh, we, we saved the day, guys. We're heroes. Even Gonzap is here. Like, literally, like, everybody is here. Except for Team Cypher. <sighs> what do I talk about? Like, we're done. Like, obviously, we have the after game and stuff, and we're going to do that, but here we are. We are at the end. This is the ending credits. So, guys, I just want to take a minute and really just thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate everybody who, who followed along with the series and kept up with me, even though my videos were really long and maybe, I don't know, kind of repetitive. Like, this game just has a lot of battles and stuff, and... I don't know, it's just a really fun game to me. I've always loved this, I've always loved the design, and I thought the music was great, and the artwork. It's just a really interesting Pokemon game. It doesn't focus on gyms and, and the Elite Four. It's something different, and it's something really entertaining. I would love to see more games like this. This game came out in 2005, I believe. Yeah, I think Coliseum 2003, and this game was 2005. 
So I would love to see a new game. It's been over in like 12 years since they last released one of these kind of games, like a Shadow Pokemon game. So I would love to see this concept revisited. There's obviously room to include more. You could put so much more into this story. Just make somebody who maybe wasn't done with this yet, make him like the new leader or something, bring more Shadow Pokemon. They could totally modernize this. And as I'm recording this video, the newest console is the Nintendo Switch. And so they could totally bring a new Pokemon game like this to the Nintendo Switch. And I would love to see Mystery Dungeon games too. I think those would be great as well. But they could totally bring both. And so I'm really excited to see what the future holds. I'm hoping they'll bring some more. I really enjoy this game and I loved being able to play it and record myself playing it for you guys to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what else do I talk about? There's still more credits. Oh no, what do I talk about? But this, I don't know. We still need to catch all the rest of the Shadow Pokemon, so... There's still a lot to do, and I want to go through pretty much everything in this. I'm going to cover, like, everything that we missed. And I got to purify XC001 right there. I got to purify that Shadow Lugia. So we got to get that purified. We got to get all the Shadow Pokemon purified. And I'm definitely going to try to... I don't know about 100%ing the game, but I definitely want to do pretty much all the main stuff you can do. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Well, guys, I don't really know what else to talk about, so I guess I'll just let the rest of the credits kind of play, and maybe something will happen at the end. I'm not really sure. Okay, never mind. It's done. <laughs> I was acting like there was a lot more, and there really wasn't. So yeah, guys. 2005, Pokemon XD. Yep, we're back at the starting screen. So anyways, guys, I would like to thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys next time.